On this day when we join together for the beautiful transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, I greet you with much love and joy in the Lord. The hymns of the church are so important. They give us such a, us such a historical perspective, but such a spiritual perspective as well. And we're so excited that, of course, on this day, the transfiguration, when Christ was illumined on the mount and his disciples, Peter, James, and John, were there holding fast. We are so excited to be able to be here in church, that we may worship our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, as they did on the mount. And of course, we know that Elijah and Moses appeared representing the living and the dead, but also when we express ourselves in the divine liturgy, when we say the words, Evloyimeni Vasilia, that of course, blessed is the kingdom, it's as if we are opening up and we are also worshiping with those who have gone before us. So thus on this day, when Elijah and Moses are here with Christ, they are indeed here today worshiping with us as we offer this beautiful service to our Lord God and Savior. For those of you who are watching from on home, we hope that you join us here at St. Mark. We know many of you are far off and our statistics say that you're all throughout the world. May God bless you. If you'd like to light a candle, you can go to stmarkboca.net in the upper right-hand corner. There's a little icon that says, click and light a candle. Steve and Helen, they're here to light that candle for you and offer your prayers. May God bless us and may he who is transfigured come into our lives and transfigure us and transform our soul. Evroyimani Vasilia tu patros ke tu yu ke tu ayi upnevmatos nin ke ayi ke istu se onas to ne onon. Amin. En irini tu kiriu de ithomen. Kiria na ison. I petisan o ten irini ske ti sotiria stom si chonimon tu kiriu de ithomen. Η πετυσιρίνη του σύμποντος κόσμου ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Αναϊσόν. Υπέρ του Αγίου Ικουτούτου και του μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εναυτό του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Αναϊσόν. Υπέρ των ευσαβών και ορθοδόξων Χριστιανών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Αναϊσόν. Υπέρ του Αρχιεπίσκοπου ημών Αλεξίου, του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ Διακονίας, παντός του κληρού και του λαού του Κυρίου Δαϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αναϊσόν. For our country, the president, all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and whose glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is beyond measure, and whose love for us beyond description. Look down upon us and upon this holy house and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. 
For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the Lord and greatly be praised in the city of our God. He who prepares mountains in his strength through the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. You cover yourself with light as with a garment. Etiquette in the to kill you, the Ithomen. And the Lagos, O son Eleison, get the Aphilox in the mass of Theos, this is Harity. Is Panagia Sacrandu, Hypervrogimenis, and Oxu, the Spinisimon Theotoku, K. Parthenu Marias, Meta Pandon, Tonagi Omnimon Evsandes, E. Aftus, K. Alilus, K. Passatin Zoinimon, Christo to Theo Parathometha. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. His foundations are in the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Save us, O Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glorious things were said concerning you, O city of God. So, so, ni masi ethewo, o en tori to tavo me metamorphotis, salonda si, Alleluia. Doxa patrikeo, Ke agion premati, ke min ke ai, ke istu se onas ton e onon amin. Omono genisios ke logos tu teo, athanatos i pakon. Ke kaktam examenos ti atini meteran sotirian. Sakotina, ectisaias theotoku, ke ai patenu manias, antreptos en antropisas. Sabrotis te Christe o Theos, tanaton, tanaton patisas. Izon, tisagias triados, sin doxas o menos to patri, que to agio premati. So son, Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are a good God and love mankind, and to you we give glory. 
to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. You were transfigured upon the mountain, O Christ God, showing your disciples as much of your glory as they were able to perceive it. Let your everlasting life upon us sinners also shine through the prayers of the Theotokos. Glory to you, the giver of life. Sophia, Orthi. Orthi parasipi zoeis kyrie. For with you, Lord, is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Save us, O Son of God, who are transfigured on Mount Tabor. We sing to you, Alleluia. Let the morphosis and ori Christe o Theos. Vixas tis mathites sutin doxan sut kathos idinandon. Lam soke imin tis amatolis to foso to aidion. Presvies tis theotoku foto dota doxasi. On the mountain you were transfigured, O Christ our God, and your disciples saw as much of your glory as they could hold, that when they should see you crucified, they would know that you suffered by your own will and would proclaim to all the world that you truly are the splendor of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Ότι Άγιο ή ο Θεό ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν. Το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα την ειν και αή. Και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Holy God, you dwell among the saints who are praised by the seraphim and the thrice holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers who brought all things into being out of nothing. You have created man in your image and likeness and adorned him with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the, those who ask, and you do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way to salvation. You have made us worthy, a humble and unworthy servant to stand at this time before the glory of your holy altar and draw a few proper worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn from the mouths of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive us our voluntary and involuntary sins, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship you in holiness all the days of our lives. This we ask for the prayers of the Holy Theodokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you, our God, are holy, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. 
Jesus e onas non e onon amim, Agios atanatos, Eleison ima. With conviction dynamis, Agios Let us be attentive. O Lord, your works shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. Wisdom. The read is from Peter's second universal letter. Let us be attentive. Brethren, be more zealous to confirm your call and election, for if you do this, you will never fall. So there will be a richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these things, though you know them and are established in the truth that you have. I think it right, as long as I am in this body, to arouse you by the way of reminder, since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as the Lord Jesus Christ showed me. And I will see to it that after my departure you may be able at any time to recall these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, this is my beloved son, son with whom I am well pleased. We heard this vo voice born from heaven, and we were with him on the holy mountain, and we have had the prophetic word made more sure. You will do well to pay attention to this, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until the days and the morning star rises in your heart. Peace be with you, the reader. And thy spirit. Shine in our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, that by overcoming our sinful desires, we might live a spiritual life of thoughts and deeds that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we offer glory. Together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain apart. And he was transfigured before them, and his face, face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with them. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is well that we are here. If you wish, I will make three booths here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And he was still speaking when, lo, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, the beloved, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were filled with awe. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. 
And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one of the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Όπως υπό το κράτος σου πάντοτε φυλατώμενοι Συ δόξαν να πέμπομεν Το Πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ειν και αΐ Και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων no one bound by worldly desires is worthy to approach, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory. To serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your immeasurable and indescribable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You served as our high priest and master of all, and you entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical and bloodless sacrifice. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim and are the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. By the power of your Holy Spirit, enable me, who was vested with the grace of the priesthood, to stand it before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy body and your precious blood. I come to you with bowed head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the one who offers and is offered, who receives and is shivered, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father, in your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity, let us lay aside all worldly cares that we may receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity, let us lay aside all worldly cares that we may receive the King of all. Alleluia, Come let us worship and bow down before Christ himself, our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your blood and mercy. Blot on my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin, and my mother bare me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be white as snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness that the bones which you are broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And my tongue will sing about it. Be a deliverance for you. No delight and sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. I sacrifice, accept the Lagazi broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Your glory, your virgin of Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall put bolts upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God.
Πον ρημών, μνηστή κύριο ο Θεό, εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αή, και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Το κόσμο γκόξ πόμιενε τσβένα του τσάρβο σβόγε. Σβάντα σάντεκ ιουβεκ ιους βεβεκ κουβά. May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom, always, now, and forever. And to the ages of ages. In his love we escorted, escorted by the angelic host, by the angelic host, by angelic host. Des angelicus paratos, body for men on taxes in taxes in Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Πληρώσουμε την δέηση νημών το Κυρίο υπέρ των πρωτευθέντων τμήν δώρων του Κυρίου δεηθόμεν υπέρ του Αγίου οίκου τούτου και το μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ιησούν δεν είναι αυτό του Κυρίου δεηθόμεν Υπέρ του Αγίου οίκου τούτου και του μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης Ρίστηνε μα ο Παπάση, φλίψε ω οργή κινδύνου και ανάγκη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμαν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this to the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this Lord God Almighty, you are holy. That we may complete the, the remaining of time of our lives in peace and repentance. Us in Let us ask altar. the Lord. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of your Let us ask for a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with you all. And also with your spirit. Agapisum and alilus, inem uniemologisum, and let us love one another that united in one mind we may confess. The love of the Lord my God, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my fortress, the Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is the defender of my life. Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one 
aus diesem Mangel. All together. I, I believe in one God, God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and he suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Proskomantina irana foran and edini prosferin. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So with your spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift our hearts to you. If God is the instrument of you, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, and to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things that we know and do not know. For the seen and unseen blessings that have, you have granted us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to receive from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels. The cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Together with these blessed powers, loving master who loves mankind, we also cry out and say, You are holy and most holy. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so love the world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When he came, he completed the divine plan for our salvation. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks, he blessed, consecrated, and broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete, fayete, tutum estito soma, 
το υπερημόν κλώμενον εις άφεσιν αμαρτιόν. Amen. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Pietex of tu pandes, tu tu esti to emamu, to disgenis diathikis, to hyperimon ke polon echinomenon, is afes in amartion. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that he had done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and his second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for the vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, boldness to approach you neither for judgment or condemnation. We also offer to you this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, prophets, fathers, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. And, O oh Lord, we pray Exadetos tis panea sacrando per vloi menis en doxu despinisimon te otoku que ai parthanu Maria. For Saint John the prophet and forerunner, for the holy glorious most praise of the apostles, for the saints who we observe today, and for all your saints, through supplication visits, I remember those in halls we know every turn away, Maximus and Zoe, George, Brazera, George. Athanasius, George Anastasius, Alexander Theodora, Athanasius, the priest, Artemius, Presdeliani, Athanasius, Socrates, the priest, Jim, Demetrius, Constantine, Cleopatra, George, Cynthia, Harry, Kalalambos, and George, Socrates, the priest, Lydia, the newly departed. Great is the name of the Trinity. Grant them rest, God, the light of your countenance shines. Further, we ask, Lord, you remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, all priests, deacons, and all clergy in the service of Christ. We also offer to the spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live pure and pious lives, and for those in public service and armed forces. Grant that they may govern in peace, Lord, that we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Among the first, remember, Lord, Archbishop Alexios, Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health, and for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember each of us, those who comes to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live, every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, land, and air, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who care for the poor and send your mercy upon us all. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And also.
also with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May in return send upon us his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Και καταξίως εν ημάς δέσποτα μετά παρησίας ακατακρίτως τον μανιπικαλίστες σε τον επωνάνιον θεόν πατέρα και λέγειν Πατριμόν ο εντής ουρανής αιεστείτε το όνομά σου ερθέτου η βασιλεία σου γεννηθείτε το θελημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζής τον άρτην ημών των επιούσιων δόσιμιν σήμερον και άφεση μην το εφελεί με τα ημών, ως και εμεί εσαφή με ζωφελέτος ημών, και μη εις ενέγγισης μας εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In any peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your infinite power created all things, and by your great mercy you brought all things from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick physician of our souls and our bodies. Through the grace, Lord compassion, Christ, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, Son with whom you are blessed, you are together with your all holy, and good, and life-giving Spirit, and now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken and not divided for every and ever consumed. Sanctify those who partake of Him. Jesus Christos Nikah. Cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. together. I, I believe, believe and confess, that, Lord, Lord me, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, 
voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Brother, approach. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. greatly to be praised in the city of our God. said that there with the fear of God, love and faith come forward. in the 
Αυτόν ο Θεό των λαών σου και ευλόησον την κληρονομία σου. Save O God your people and bless your inheritance. of the divine, holy, pure, and immortal, heavenly, life-creating, awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, that on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path and fortify us in your fear and guard our life and make secure our steps through the supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are the sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is coming from you, the Father of lights, and to you we give thanksgiving, honor, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You fulfilled the entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness. Always now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God from this time forth forever and forever. On this day that we celebrate the metamorphosis, the transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The church comes together in prayer, does so to remember the great feast when we know that Peter, James, and John went up to the mountain, Mount Tabor, with Christ himself, and he was transfigured. And Elijah and Moses appeared to him, representing the living, Elijah, because the fiery chariot, he went up to heaven directly, and the dead, because Moses, when he died, of course, we know the gates of paradise were closed until Christ came again at the resurrection. And we come together, and the church is very practical in everything it does. So you see grapes here. There's a tradition that has come forth all throughout the world in Orthodox countries and here that on August 6th, because that is the beginning of the harvest, that we would come together and offer a prayer for the harvest. And thus, we offer by our faithful who brought beautiful 
grapes here today is a tradition that we also bless the harvest that it may be fruitful for the entire year. Things aren't exactly as it is now because of course we can ship things all throughout the world at a moment into our grocery stores. However, we still keep this beautiful tradition because we bless the harvest and thus those who partake of it will have their blessings upon them and upon their families for the health of soul and body. So let us all offer a prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless this new fruit of the vine, which through temperate winds and measured rainfalls and gentle weather you have been pleased to bring to a state of ripeness, so that to us who partake of the pressing of the grape, it may bring pleasure, while for those who make it an offering to the holy chalice, May it bring atonement of sins through the sacred and holy body and blood of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May he who was transfigured in glory on Mount Tabor before his disciples and apostles, Christ our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious, and prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, the patron saint of our church, Mark the Evangelist, and the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of all the saints we commemorate, have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. God bless you all. Chronia pola. Many years to you. It's indeed a blessing to be back worshiping with you. I'm going to ask Gerard and Steve to come forward and to take this beautiful table carefully as I'll take the holy oil and the candle from it to the back of the church so that Asimo and Maria and whoever is here who brought grapes can do their thing. So all of you, after you come and receive a little andidron for the blessing, can also receive a grape for the health of soul and body, and I will take one first. Thank you. <laughs> on Sunday, and then on Monday we come back for the Parakrasi service, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. God be with you all.